and you can do a couple different things. I like this one where you feet shoulder width apart, pigeon toe, knees together, bending over because if you really do this, you physically cannot tighten the butt muscle. You can't. Gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, gluteus maximus, you physically can't tighten them. Okay? Other people like to do this. They have you stand on one foot, put the other one behind, bend their, your leg like this, because again, stork position, you can't tighten the muscle. I'm not, I don't have great balance. I'd rather stand on two feet than one. Both are fine, okay? But you cannot know you're putting the shot in the right place if you don't find the iliac crest. You have to physically find the iliac crest. And for the majority of people, we start over on the outside edge, right here. Follow the curve up. When we reach the top of the bony structure and we feel it either do one of two things, start to curve down or disappear, stop moving your fingers. The only two fingers that matter at that point is going to be your first finger and that pinky. You're just going to shift your hand from feeling like this to parentheses. From this to this. We're going to make parentheses with our hands. The right one on the right side, the left one on the left side. So I'm going to show you on the right side because I'm right handed, which means I'm going to have to swap. Okay? So I'm going to come up and I'm going to find the top of the bony structure. When I feel it start to curve down, I'm going to bring my hand into the parentheses. Then I'm going to bring my non-dominant hand knuckle to knuckle with each, with the hand underneath, with each knuckle. Knuckle on my first finger, knuckle on my thumb. I cover over, I slide out of the way, and I can pinch and I'm in exactly the same spot. I'm going to be slightly high, but I don't want you sliding upwards because the bony structure is close to the surface that way. We don't want that. We want it in the nice deep muscle layer right here, but avoiding that sciatic nerve. Now, if I was on the opposite side, I'd come up with my left hand until I find it peak it comes up and as it starts to slide down, I stop moving, bring my pinky up into that parenthesis, pinch, and look, I'm in that deep muscle. I'm in a protected zone. Now, why do we give hip shots? Number one, we give medicine that really, really hurts, burns, or stings, such as antibiotics and pain medication. And medicine that's really thick, like your vitamin B12 shots and your gamma globulin shots, or medicines that we have to give a large amount, those are all going to be hip shots because the muscle fibers are able to stretch more, accommodating the fluid and not tearing. If we were to give large amounts, a really thick one in the arm, the muscle fibers would tear, causing more pain with the shot. They're gonna bruise more, it's gonna ache longer, it's going to take a lot longer to heal and get them moving their arm. So we're doing a kindness by giving them a hip shot. Now, in most cases, all we need is for our patient to undo the snap and a little bit of the zipper we don't want them to drop trow. No, no, no. There's a lot of things about our patients we don't want to know. That's one of them. Oh, promise you. So, 